New cases of COVID-19 continue to be confirmed in several more states and countries. And President Trump says he's urging drug makers to speed up the process for creating a vaccine. This as the U.S. death toll rises. Now six confirmed fatalities in Washington state. ABC's Trevor Alt has the latest from New York in our top story at 10. Just as health officials had warned, novel coronavirus is continuing its spread inside the United States. Officials in Washington state announcing four new cases, including two fatalities, as several other states like Oregon, Illinois, and Florida announce more confirmed cases, and New Hampshire announces its first. There is deep concern across our state. Uh, we all need to be calm, cool, and collected. Efforts to contain the virus continue to ramp up. New York State now the first in the country to develop its own testing methods. The federal government's now allowing us to test is a very big deal. Uh, and will make a, have a dramatic effect on how quickly we can mobilize and respond. In the midst of the fight to contain the spread, President Trump says he's asking drug makers to increase their focus on the development of a vaccine. We're working very hard to expedite the longer process of developing a vaccine. Military researchers are also leading the testing in Maryland. Our research labs, our military research labs are, are working uh, feverishly around the uh, around the horn here to, to, uh, to try to uh, come up with a vaccine. Uh, so uh, we'll see how that develops over, over the next couple of months. Today, the stock market bouncing back with its highest single-day point gain ever. That's after last week's record losses, which were driven by novel coronavirus concerns. But globally, massive attractions and gathering sites like the Louvre in Paris remain closed to the public. Last week, President Trump appointed Vice President Mike Pence to lead the response to the coronavirus. And this week, we know the VP is meeting with CEOs of airlines and cruise ship companies to discuss COVID-19 concerns. Trevor All, ABC News, New York.